Okay, so starting things off, this is my braid pattern. I don't know what kind of pattern that is. I'm not a braider. I did what I could with what I had. I'm putting on my wig cap. I know some people use two. This time I'm just going to use one. I feel like it's a little bit more sturdier for the longevity of your style when you use one. Um, and I'm just going to outline my leave out with this white pencil. And then I'm just going to go in with this Morning Glory hair protectant stuff. I can link it in the description box below. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, and that is going to protect my hair, allegedly, from the glue. Uh, I used this once before, and I can say it actually does protect your hair. It's just kind of tedious having to put this like all over your whole entire head. You have to really saturate it and make sure like you get everywhere, and then you have to blow dry it. And it really does take like 15 to 20 minutes for this to dry completely. Once that has dried, you can go ahead and start installing the hair. I got four packs of this dream hair from the beauty supply store. I think each pack was $11.99 each, $12. And I got it in the 24 inches, but the 24 inches is actually really long. It kind of hangs like a 26, 28 inch, um, which I was really excited about. Also, I just want to note that you do get a good amount of hair on the wefts. Um, so in all, I only wound up using like two and a half packs. Once you get to this part, applying the tracks is actually pretty easy. All you're going to do is just measure it um, from end to end of your cap to make sure it's the right size. You're going to cut it. And I like to measure it again just to make sure I cut it correctly because sometimes I don't. And then you're going to put glue on it and then you're just going to attach it to your head. Um, if you have trouble, of course, it's like the back of your head, so you can't really see what you're doing, but I just use my fingers to kind of feel where I want it to go and I put it in place. I would definitely say one of the hardest parts of the install is when you get to this little part here like if you have like a bun or a ball in the back of your head you really just have to be careful and make sure you apply the track straight um, but again if you just use your fingers um, to detect where you want it to go you should be fine um, and then you'll just lay it in place like here I'm showing you that I use my fingers to feel what I'm doing and just lay the track down After I lay a couple of tracks in the back, I do like to blow dry it. I don't do this track by track because it'll take way too long. I'll probably do like four tracks and then blow dry it.
Also, I just want to note that I'm actually putting glue on this part right here um, to prevent it from sliding later on. Because that's one thing that I notice about when I do my installs is like on the corners in the front right there, they tend to slide. So I'm just gluing that, yes, down to my actual hair um, to kind of make it more secure to prevent sliding. I'll let you know how that goes because it's something new that I'm trying out. And then I'm just going to be adding another small piece of track hair to the cap right there to kind of fill in the gap. And honestly, that's it. And I'm just going to go through and style the hair. So I'll probably just speed up through the rest of it. But just something that I wanted to know about the hair. Um, I've had it in for like three days now. And it holds up pretty well. You just really have to keep a brush on you. Keep a brush on you. Make sure you keep brushing out the ends because it's synthetic hair. And it will tangle up. It, it's not it doesn't necessarily get matted like I don't have that issue like last night I slept on my hair without a bonnet and it didn't get matted or anything it just gets a little tangly not even that bad honestly truly it's like you just need to brush through it and it'll straighten back up you actually don't even have to flat iron this hair that much maybe because it's like a synthetic fiber but yeah like flat ironing is really not necessarily not necessary all I do is brush through it and it gets straight um, but aside from that, I actually really like this hair and I would probably, I would definitely actually use this hair again. I was kind of nervous at first because it's been so long since I've had synthetic hair, probably like over 10 years. So going back to it, I was a little nervous, but I actually don't regret it. This is something cute for like a last minute hairstyle or something that you just don't want to wear for too long. I wouldn't recommend keeping this in super long, maybe like a week max uh i'll let you know i'll probably do another update because again it's only been like three days um so i'll see how this holds up after a week but that's it for the video the rest of this is just going to be me finishing up styling the hair if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the description box below and i'll answer all your questions and that is <laughs>